just get going. Okay. We're here with Butt, who is now going to be referred to as Aiden, because I can't, in good conscience, have my student be referred to as Butt. <laughs> That's my tag. <laughs> it's all good. Right. Um, I'm probably going to change that anyway. I'm, got, I'm probably going to change it to Heaps. Eventually. Heaps? Yeah, because my, my, my tag is kind of Heaps Butt. Heaps yeah. Butt. Okay. Yeah. All right, Aiden. Let's get. <laughs> no, okay. So, um, yeah, I looked. Uh, I looked at the games you sent over. Um, so you're looking at Marth, basically. Uh well, the my my friend that I'm kind of um fighting uh, usually is a sheik. That's not actually my. Is friend. a sheik okay? That's that's just a an Irish competition, like a little weekly that i'm that i'm part of at the moment but it's actually ongoing i have a i have a game tonight against uh, one of their captain falcons oh nice very nice so you got a bit of chic bit of falcon bit of marth to deal with yeah yeah yeah. very like all three of them require really different play from peach so um that's something we can uh something we can look at but we're gonna only gonna really concentrate on one to begin with um but yep. we, even before we even get into that, um, I'm just going to go through some training stuff. I don't know if you have 20XX or Uncle Punch. I've got Uncle Punch. I yeah. have 20XX. I actually have two versions of 20XX. I, I used to use them, but not very efficiently. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Um, I don't think I use them very efficiently, but there's um, a couple of things I just want to quickly go through with you. Um, okay. I'll just go through them quite quickly um, because you can come back and watch it. Uh, another time to get like what I'm doing with the uh, with the options. So if you go like debug menu, this is really loud. Sorry, one second. You can see my screen, alright? Yeah. I can. I can. Can you hear me? Okay. I, I, I have a, another headset, but I can't find the one of the pieces to it. Yeah. No. It's all good. It's all good. Um, I got you turned up on the recording as well, so we it should all be fine. I'll turn you a little bit up in Discord as well. Um, so. We're going to go into some training codes um, and go into uh, like color overlays because we want to basically tell tell your eyes when your character is doing a certain thing. Um, so if we go to if we go to white, I quite like white because it's really easy to see, um, and we just put white to weight and. If we uh, put this as red, the wave dash timing, that's also helpful, but not as imperative as the white. Um, so then we go versus, melee, pick your peach, pick like fox or whatever. Um, stick it on battlefield. Uh, press the pad down for this. I, um, if you need any like 20xx extras, like do you want me to go through what buttons to press, I will later. But I'm just showing you what is a good... Uh, Okay. Yeah, good yeah, way, yeah, good go way right of practicing ahead. Peach. Um, so set your player two to human, so he doesn't uh, doesn't run around at all. And now, when your character isn't doing anything, when you're like perfectly actionable, really, is uh, when you're going to go white. So you're you know, you're moving around, da -da -da -da, you're doing your tech skill practice, and you want to like know when you're actionable uh, when you finish certain things. So basically, you want to practice your tech skill in this way to uh, to see when you can tighten up your frames. So, for instance, okay. like okay. if you like double jump land on a platform, and yeah. then and then you wait a little bit, and then you go, you'll see that you're just a bit slow with the white flashing up uh, okay. and stuff like that. And that, that will with uh, with chain grabs, I imagine as well. Yeah, so that's that's exactly right. So we pick up Fox and we throw him up, and then you see when she goes white. So you're knowing when uh, when you're actionable and when you can grab, etc. Super tight window. Like, I actually can't really can grab until, like, a box or a Falco's about 30, 35%. Anything below that, it's, like, super inconsistent for me. Inconsistent. Uh, okay, let me... Uh, I'm just going to write these things in the notepad. Um, so there's some things to do that are... Um, like little mix-ups basically to do before 30% when you're doing spaces, um, spaces chain grab. Okay. Um, so I'll just write that down. That's something to, for us to look at. I, I, I did a little bit of research. I'm not like a tech, as you would have seen. 
I'm not very good at tech. Um, I just use my like. I just I played a lot of brawl for like ten years. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then I like found out about melee, and I was like, oh okay, I can play melee now. It's much more players, and it's cooler. And uh, I still don't have the tech skill as you know a lot of people do. So um, so I, I I did a bit of research with the chain gab, and I think it's like you can do it from like sixteen percent or something ridiculous. Yeah. Like, but I just could not get it. Like, it's just impossible. Yeah, so if you watch what Armada does as well, is he doesn't usually go for the straight grab follow-up. He usually yeah. lets them tech and uh, puts them in a tech chase scenario. Uh -huh. Yeah. But what you can actually do, and we'll get we'll get into this when we get to spaces and stuff, um, but uh, there's, like, jabs and F-tilts you can mix in, which puts them, basically puts them into a tech trap, and, it, and it's a mix-up. So if they're expecting it, they can delay their tech and still tech anyway. But um, yeah, definitely something to look into. Uh, it's something that is kind of not that intuitive because you just think like, oh, I just want to like grab them or do something else. But there's like a little jab or a little F tilt you can throw in that will um, either tech trap them or put them into a tech, tech chase situation anyway. So it's worth doing regardless. Like you're either going to get a advantageous neutral position or uh, it's going or to not, be the same. Gonna, yeah, you're not going to be in a disadvantage. Yeah, Ex yeah exactly, exactly. Um, so with uh, Uncle Punch, so I just went through 20XX really quickly. Like That's just something I would recommend you either set up a save state for so you can quickly load in and you spend like eight minutes just practicing your tech skill and looking where she's flashing white. You do not want to see any white, basically. Um, yeah. And you just want to be able to move Peach as you wish. Like You want to think it and Peach would do it. Um, another way to do that is to go on to exercise as well. And, uh, uh, that exercise, don't you worry. Nice, nice. Press D-pad down and it runs forever and you can move around, you can do your stuff. And then if you fancy, you can like hit the eggs. Oh, D-pad down makes it run forever? Yeah, I just yeah. Go, I just go for records. Yeah, so. but, um, uh, sort of allowing yourself not to have the pressure, like, especially with the pressure of fighting someone else. So if you take all the pressure away and you just be like, right, I'm moving how I want to move. Nothing's going to change that. Not even me trying to go hit these eggs. I just want to be able to move from platform to platform, put out hitboxes where I want um, yes. without the pressure of the time and an opponent is really invaluable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, um, sometimes when I was doing friendlies with my friends back in Australia, um, my friend took friendlies way too seriously. <laughs> yeah. So, and I do, I have that thing as well. Like, but, but what I did is I set it up to endless, to endless friendlies, like yeah, just, yeah. Off, just so he could get out of his mind that he didn't have to win and he'd stop just fucking F smashing all the time because he was a math and he was, I was trying to train him up to be a good melee player. Yeah. You know, me training somebody, but yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's, yeah, I, I get why, why you're saying down on the d-pad on the exercises are pretty valuable yeah it's really nice honestly it just takes the pressure away and you just sort of like you can build um basically like build peaches vocabulary or like hat like so you're talking about um friendlies and your um your friend taking friendlies really seriously uh mm. the way i look at friendlies so um you have tournament games and that's where you want to do your best stuff. That's where you want to pull out your best punishes. You want to be play the safest. You want to just play the best, basically. Um, and what you should do and look to in friendlies. Winning is nice, and I like winning friendlies. But it's like you want to just... That's like your testing ground. So you have all these things Peach can do, like nares and bears and all of this sort of stuff. And, and that's fine, but it's like... You want to just test out all the all the different hitboxes, hitboxes at different percentages. You want to um, just explore the game during friendlies. Um, it's like a safe space. Like nobody's gonna have a go at you for winning or losing. It's just literally friendlies, and then you should take that knowledge and information you gain from friendlies into the uh, into tournament play. Um, so this is uh, this is recorded, right? So I probably shouldn't swear too much, but. My friends are assholes. Yeah, uh, you can do what you like. I'm going to be swearing at some point because I'm very passionate about melee and I love swearing about melee. But, so who cares? Uh, uh, but yeah, no, my friends are, uh, yeah, yeah. No one's going to have a go at me for losing. No, my friends are assholes. So they'll, they definitely hold it over you. Yeah, like, okay. I want all those friendly sessions. I'm just like, ah. But anyway, sorry, I digress. What I like doing as well is um, sort of like, 
artificially putting yourselves in situations so for instance if i'm yeah. like if i'm being really lazy i can just be really lazy for a whole game and i'm down to like two stops or one stop and they're on like two or three and yeah. uh then just like execute a comeback just be like no right i'm gonna like not get hit i'm gonna hit every punish i'm gonna hit every edge guard and i'm gonna execute a comeback and i've really seen that come into my tournament play where my clutch situations are just really strong i'm not giving away free hits and i'm sort of like being able to clutch out the last stop situations a lot better than my opponents yeah yeah i try i try to force uh, certain situations i'm trying to learn a uh, double jump cancel on platform to like, yeah free grab or, or down smash but i or whatever but um but so i really try to force that yeah quite often friendly just because i want to practice them so i can do it when i'm not in a match but as soon as i'm in a match I, I, i'm pressing buttons too quick yeah i fuck up the double jump uh, cancel all the time so okay well I'm, I'm gonna be giving you like a little movement drill anyway that oh, cool. is super simple um and it's something that got it sort of unlocks a lot of peaches platform movement potential and combos and uh yeah i'll be giving uh, giving that to you after this uh yes. sort of little bit we'll start we'll just play around with each other after i've just shown you uh Go this ahead. kind of stuff so um as well on uncle punch i recommend um obviously power shield training um is super important i gotta get onto that yeah okay yeah um falco just wins neutral and you need to be able to deal with those lasers whether or not you spend the time in that mode power shielding like so you can just like you can just sit and power shield everything but what's really good as well is um just sort of floating around dropping down and then like going back up and just seeing where the lasers are going to hit and just just trying not to get hit by any lasers you don't need to power shield every single one because it doesn't really matter you just want to be able to avoid them it's right, a big right. thing um and the third thing that I recommend is uh especially with your chain grabs um this is like chain sorry chain grab. i don't have that chain grab uh one on mine I'm well like, this end one I've, I've got a really old version yeah i don't have tech chase chain train chain grab on mine i probably have version 1.00 yeah i don't think i have the newest one but yeah this is one of the newer ones that has this option and it's it's really yeah. good um so what you can what you can do which is what i recommend because you said you had trouble with it you can like so press l and press d-pad and you can change its uh, percentage and then you can just practice your chain grabs yeah and he does like and you can tell him to do random di and uh he jumps out of hit stun so like if you miss the timing you're gonna know you've missed it so i think that's I, important I, for you to go for my version's got like combo training and you can like uh, it's pretty much the same it's thing pretty similar isn't it yeah yeah, it's like the exact same, pretty much. Okay, cool. So, um, do you wanna, what's your code? And we'll connect to... Uh, uh, let me see. I've got many different accounts. So, yeah, that, that just, that beginning there, that's just sort of me saying, go away with these tools and, like, look at those things specifically over the next month. Um and just work on it basically there's just uh some mm -hmm. movement drills that i'll give you in a moment that you can just work on and especially work on it in the 20xx thing with the white overlay is really important so my uh code today is uh b-o-u-s bows yeah bows uh <laughs> five four five it's uh it's bull in uh catalan because uh, and the the biggest team what some of the biggest teams and tos in in spain is uh are from catalan the yeah one, the bows bows group yeah the boats Bo bows group yeah yeah yeah. we fucked around with them at, um at air they were oh, shouting yeah. around at air going like bows group bows group and boats, so boats, yeah boats, boats. yeah they're, they're a bunch of lads i like them oh yeah yeah they're all my mates so i live in spain oh very nice very nice Oh, sorry. Uh, Mine is a uh, law three eight five. L A W. L A U R. U R. Law. Three eight five. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, so did you meet any of them specifically, like Teabag or Manu? Or... No, I sort of met them as a whole group, and then we tried to arrange a crew battle, and it just didn't happen. It was one of those things. Yeah. We couldn't find a setup. Weirdly enough, it, it was the last night of there. Everyone was pretty lit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. All right, it says I'm searching. Yeah, I'm searching for you as well. L A U R three eight five. Yeah. So last night I had uh, I tried to connect to my friend, and it just never connected. Uh, uh, here we go. Haha, <laughs> we win. Dan smash does equal suicide. Oh, um, that this is my uh, my friendlies, my unranked account, so people stop quitting against me, and I don't down smash with uh, uh, on the on this account in unranked. <laughs> okay, fair enough. People get very salty about down smashing on unranked. I recommend uh, not playing unranked. <laughs> 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 but no, it can be it's su it can be super fun. Um, obviously, to. Uh, just ruin people's days on unranked. Anyway, so this, uh, so double jump lands. This is actually part of the little movement uh, drill I want to do. So yeah, you've got them down really. Um, there's like four frames to it. Um, I, That's pretty generous. Yeah, it's super generous. Um, a lot of people. I'm like, uh, I'm like 99% sure there's four frames. I obviously haven't looked into it properly. I'm more of a, I like to feel it more than. But there's four frames to the double jump, so I think it's pretty much there. Um, so what I would like you to be able to do is like double jump land on a platform and then shield drop and then Ooh. like, and then uh, like uh, wave land down. Shield dropping's, uh, not a tool I have yet. Let's see. So obviously I don't want you to be able to like, if you could do it already, like, there you go. That is perfect. So when you, um, shield drop on a platform, are you like holding a direction before you shield? Yeah, my friend told me to do that. Is that the best way? That is the best way. Um, I pretty much never shield on a platform without holding a direction. It can like reveal your like back for pokes and things, um, yeah, yeah. and reveal your feet. But I just have to make sure that you're holding the right direction. Yeah, when that when that becomes an issue, you've kind of like you've got past lots of other issues already, so you can then start dealing with like I missed it up or whatever. Yeah. So um yeah, and if you can do that. And also, like, mix in maybe, like, a uh, aerial with an L cancel. Um, and just sort of spend, like, some time every day. It doesn't need to be that long, like, five um, to ten minutes, literally. Just being able to do that super tight. Like, if you do it on your, um, uh, on 20XX with the white overlay as well, um, that will be okay, amazing. Okay, yeah. um, and then you'll see, and then with the perfect wave dash angle as well, you'll just, you'll just see how well you're moving, basically. Um... So, do, hard. so the next question is do you claw no i don't why not uh because i've played the smash brothers for since it came out and i've always not i uh, never knew claw was a thing until like a year ago yeah cool okay so now you know it's a thing yeah. i wholeheartedly recommend that you learn claw Okay. Um, it's it was awkward to begin with, especially if you're so used to not clawing at all. Well, um, I'm actually in the uh, mix of I'm, I'm just about to build my own box. I'm halfway through. Okay. So I'm gonna start box um, peach. So you're gonna be a box peach. Okay, okay, okay. So um, that kind of solves all the issues that not clawing with peach does. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Um, so I'll... go on. <laughs> I was just saying, and it will also save my thumbs. Yeah, I've kind of I'm really too deep with the controller now. I can't really uh, I can't really go to box. <laughs> I want to because my hands are fucked, but never mind. Um, yeah, well, we'll see. All right, so we'll skip clawing because you're going to be. Bo When's this box going to come? Uh, hopefully tomorrow. Oh I'm, my I'm god! Like, soldered all the um, all the wires and uh, programmed the Arduino. So I just need to um, put it all together now. Oh wow, that's brilliant! So you're going to be freaking sub floating all day long yeah that's that's that i'm gonna teach you sub float on the box that's gonna be amazing what's sub float um it's where you like jump into a float so you get a yeah. lower float yeah it's Can really somewhere oh, that's crazy it's really good okay why um, is that so 
So, so if you come float next to me at a normal height. Yeah. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. So look how much lower I am. Yeah. Okay. Um, so under some high falcon lasers, maybe. Or... Um. So my main tool is a uh, uh, falcon's nair. So the nair is just so uh -huh. good. But if you yeah. sub float under it, you can get a little up air. It's oh. like, it's so good. It's honestly really good. Um, that's that's like down the line though. I reckon. <laughs> it, it did me, but yeah, maybe with the box it won't be so. Hard. With the box, honestly, that'd be super easy to do because I have to go X with my thumb, Y with my index. Um, oh, because you've got claw. Yeah. I, X with your thumb, Y. Yep, I see. Yeah, so that's how I'm doing that. Um, and you can do. I'm like just, double jump lands out of shield as well is really I'm good. I can't wait to do that, like run up to somebody and double jump land and run back the other direction. Yeah, it's good to do it out of shield as well. Like, yeah, it's really good. Um, so yeah, we'll skip claw because you're going to be boxing it. So that's that's really good news actually. I really like the idea of someone going in because there's already Noxa is a boxer. <laughs> Okay, he's a peach. Yeah, he's a peach. So that's N O X X A. I believe they have a Twitter as well, so you can ask them for any like. Because I I don't I, I like the box, but I don't know. I've never used it to play peach. So um, yeah. Noxa would be someone really good to talk to about box peach. There's also another one. I'll get back to you on that one. Who's in America? Who's also very good with um the box as peach. They do lots of crazy sub float up air combos like five in a row on foxes. It's kind of crazy. Oh. Yeah, okay, that's gonna, yeah, I'm not, again, I'm not the quickest, I'm, I don't know if you got to see the stats on my games, but my APM is, like, horrible. So that'll go up with the box, that'll also go up with chlorine, but as you're boxing, so that's absolutely fine, we'll just uh, carry on with, we'll, yeah, we'll wait for you, your box to get here, so we'll reconvene in a month when you've had a, with Well, time. yeah, I, I think it's gonna take about two or three months until I'm, I'm completely boxed up but yeah 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 so we'll reconvene in the month and see where you're at and I'll, I'll also talk to noxa and the other peach player and sort of get some idea of um any challenges that uh peach on box has um because i'm sure there's a lot because it's very weird yeah I'm, I'm really looking forward to like uh floats out of shield that like coming out really fast because sometimes i like i like don't get the max distance i want to get yeah so, so that's clawing. So I'm like already holding a direction. So it's like super easy to do. And yeah, like if you already are holding a direction and you can also, when you're on the box, but it also, oh. also applies to claw, is you just have such control over Peach in the air. Like you can be going backwards and throwing out a fair and it's just like super nice. Claw on the stick as well? Yeah, so I'm like, so I'm like, just holding Y with my index finger, and I can just thumb the C stick and hold back with my. So I'm like, uh, uh, you just have absolute control. Okay. And with edge guards, like, look at how much cover this like, coverage this fair has. It's so crazy. Like, oh so my god! You just cover all I... of this. Heck. Yeah, I should have been clawing a long time ago. Yeah, is... yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? You just yeah, have okay. insane control all the time and you can just throw out any hitbox you want, even if it's like just the opposite direction you're going. Like a retreating bear like this is just so nice. Here's another thing that you you uh, I don't I used to do when I wasn't a peach main. See all these jumps here? Yeah, sure. I'm 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 using the stick. Oh, you're using tap jump. I'm using tap jump. Ah, okay, okay. Um that's so fine. I these are without tap jump, obviously. I like I learnt with tap jump, and then when I found out about um, competitive melee, I started using the buttons. But I yeah. can do both. Like I can I can use tap jump, so I actually I can actually tap jump and still do fading. Yeah. So tap jump, Lod you used to use tap jump. You know, Lod yeah. in America, he um he was Lord. heavily into tap jump, and that's how he does his like sub floats and stuff. Um, yeah. But he recently just switched to Claw, and he still does tap jump for his sub floats. But um, even he's gone to Claw over the past, like, s since Slippy, really. He Just after Slippy came out, he started to uh, uh, Claw. So, um, anyway, we're getting well well into some Peach stuff here. W um, would you like to go over some Marth stuff? 
Yeah. Or who is your who who is your um person that signed up to the coaching as well? What character do they play? Is his name, and he's a, he's a he's a sheik man. He's a sheik man. Okay, so it's it's up to you entirely. So because but for the first lesson, I just wanted to get an idea of where you're at and like what skill level you're at and what you really want to work on. Um, and like the most either the most annoying matchup you have. That's what I like working on. The my worst matchup. Um, because when you work on your worst matchup, you just sort of like staircase up. So your yeah. worst matchup becomes your best matchup. So then you're just staircasing your skill all the way up. Um, so yeah, I, guess, I guess it's it's hard because it's like you know I feel like sometimes I'm wrecking foxes and falcos online, and then but they're just the ones that are slightly better than me that don't know the matchup or they don't know how to not get gimped, and yeah. then all of a sudden they just start destroying me. And I just so I actually don't know which matchups I'm bad at. I used to think I was bad at the Captain Falcon matchup, but then I started beating people that were a lot better than me and. Uh, according to other people. And I was like, okay, so I suppose I'm not that bad at that matchup. So I guess Marth could be the most useful. Yeah. Uh, but Sheik is the one that I want to tackle because of my friend. Okay. So, so that's so you've got more motivation for Sheik. Yeah. Um but the, there's more Marths on in you know, there's there's not as many Sheiks about. So we can really we can cover both quite broadly or we could do one really well. Let's do one really well. So which one would you like? Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> let's go, Sheik. Let's go, Sheik. Let's go, Sheik. Okay. Do you have um? If you could send me a Sheik game, that's that's great. But if not, that's fine. We can either um, we can go through a Sheik game. Uh -huh. I've got a Sheik game. I probably have Sheik games. I'd have to traipse through my uh, my slippy files to find one. Uh, but I could probably find one if you if you if you want me to do it now. Um, it's up to you what you... Uh, I think it would be better if we went through yeah. your game. Yeah. Um, and cool. I've only got your math games. And uh, Shall we do the math game? Because we already have... I already have that done. Yeah, let's go math. Let's go... Let's just do a little little intro to math. Just for just for time's sake. Just because... And then yeah. we'll do Sheik next time for sure. We'll, yeah. Like, and, and I'll get some uh, stuff together for Sheik for you. I'm into it. Nice. Okay. Um... So yeah, this is just your Dreamland game. We'll just go through this. Not like super fine, but we'll just pick up some broad um, uh, broad concepts. Right, why aren't I watching for two seconds? There we go. All right, ready. All right, sweet. So I like the turnips straight away. Obviously, you know, turnips uh, are the only way to win in this matchup. This is rough over here. We'll just go over this. Um, have you gone through Armada's really old melee on me math tutorial? Uh, I think I did a while back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's super old, but those the concepts are still the same. Um, it's just a little bit tougher, but that is your basic jumping off point is Armada's melee on me uh, math versus math guide. I'll have to go back for it, yeah. Um, I can link it to you. I've already linked it to another student because um, they were having trouble with math as well. Um, right. So interestingly, if... Uh, I think it was Smeknam. If you look at Smeknam's, sort of like the second half of Smeknam's uh, lesson, we went through some math stuff there as well. Um, Where are these lessons saved? So th they will be on the Lesson Uploads channel. Oh, yeah. okay. um, and I can yeah. send them to you as well. I'll just write that down. So you want the melee on me thing. And just some lessons. And I'll send them over to you. Okay, so you're going to get trapped in the corner here because Marfla's trapping you in the corner because you're running away. You're trying to get a turn it. So I noticed throughout your set you weren't... You just you had zero patience on the ledge. And I appreciate that. I'm someone who also has zero patience on the ledge. I just feel like Marth can cover everything and I just want to get off there as soon as possible and just try my best to get back on stage. But yeah. um, if you're just coming up at predictable times, the Marth is just going to wreck you for it. Um, so just try and mix up the timing you're coming back on. I know the Marth can cover everything and I know it's really frustrating, but it's 
It's just a matter of making it as hard as possible for them because they are human at the end of the day. They're not going to be able to react perfectly to everything. So if you're mixing up like two or three options off the ledge, then uh, yeah, they're I'm just going to have a really hard time. Actually, my next option, I'm actually like just waiting a heartbeat before just to mix up the, a slight timing. On Precisely. It. Yeah. Okay. So you're, yeah, you're halfway there. That's brilliant. So you've done two, two get yeah. ups. Yeah, mashing, just mashing. Eight. Yeah, three. just three gaps, a triple gap. And you're so I'm guilty of this as well. So pretty much everything I say, like I've done, honestly, I've gone through phases of doing everything. It's very frustrating. This right. down air just against it Marth, it just doesn't it, work. Not so good. I've noticed. That. Yeah, Marth and Falcon um, just doesn't yeah. work. You can mix up the fall at full from your float to mix up the timing so that you get to them earlier before their upper comes out. But rule of thumb, just air dodge through them or like try just try and go a different area to where they are because look at that wow. sword, man. It's just it's just disgusting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um yeah, the way I look at Marth, so Pete like so Peach is an amazing character, but she's nowhere near the best character in the game. Marth is way better than her. So the onus is on you. Like, look at look at this game. We've been going 15 seconds. You're already at 76%. You haven't hit him once. And you've really only lost neutral once. And you've been in disadvantage neutral this entire time. This is what Marth does. And this is what you've got to get used to. You've got really got to rope-a-dope them. Um, you can be at, like, 120 on Dreamland and still get the kill. Like, it, like... It's a really lopsided matchup, um, but once you get past Marth's like killing percents, like of like uh, throws and f smashes and things, he like he has a real hard time killing you. So your survival di and your combo di are super important in this matchup. This is game three. I remember this. I threw this real hard. You, well, uh, yeah, you threw it a little bit. Yeah, we'll get into that. There was a, there's a couple of key moments where you really could have gone your way. So, so again, like you have spent zero time in the middle here. This is classic math. This is this is, it is a struggle. Okay, so you finally got middle, and you do that. So again, I am guilty of high attacks on shield, which just get you punished, but. When you get middle, you want to be so, and especially when Marth is here, this is this is like a dead Marth. You want to be like, right, Marth's here, Marth's gonna die, and yeah. the way I'm gonna kill Marth is not by attacking him. I'm gonna box him out. You're just gonna use this area here um, to just box him out because he spends, especially on Dreamland, it takes quite a while to get to the platform, like either wave land on the platform and drop down or whatever. It takes quite a while because the distance is um a fair bit more than like battlefield or yoshi's so this kind of move here is just asking like he can just shield and roll shield and do anything you want to be like you want to be where wispy is blowing basically right here next to this platform and you've got to be like right marth it's your turn to come in and i'm going to stop you from coming in i'm going to either like pretend to pull a turnip or hopefully already have a turnip um and you're, you're going to either force him to go up onto the platform to nair him or just yeah. like stop like just yeah. stop him or yeah. um just baiting out an attack with a dash dance here is really good like they love swinging out the corner he starts swinging and you can knock him off again he's at a really juicy percent for a little right. hit like snipe with a jump and then that's your edge guard then he's dead got to be more patient when they're in the corner got to got to bait got to make them Gonna make him swing. Yeah, exactly. It's so so important um, when you're an advantage at Peach that you never lose that advantage, or at least don't lose it to just like, okay, right, I've got, I'm in advantage. I really want to hit you. Mm. That kind of thing. It's super important because it's just like, and then you, you've lost your advantage. You it's and it's also about recognizing those situations. Just really quickly recognizing, Marth is in trouble. Like. Marth sucks so hard coming from the corner. It's so ridiculous how bad he is. And Peach is so good at just covering this area with hitboxes. And you should right. just use that to your advantage. 
putting up a wall. Yeah. Nice little re-grab. Down here a bit. No, okay. At least I didn't down here. Didn't, yeah, at least, yeah, it's okay. It still hits you because his sword is crazy. Nice baiting him out. And then come back with a down air. And he, it's just never hitting anyone. Like, it's just never hitting. It's like, it, I know it's annoying, and I do it I do it all the freaking time, honestly. But it's good to be aware of it, at least. It's yeah. so good to be aware of it. Because it does work sometimes, but you just got to be like, this is going to work 1 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go, here we go. Right, so we... Okay, so let's go over the edge guard slightly. So this is nice, he misses his down air. You're in full advantage position here. This is all you. So you've got some options here. Um, grab is fine. Um, he's at a bit too low a percent for me for a grab. I feel like you want another hit, um, like a nair. Yeah, I had plenty of time. I guess I was panicking. Yeah, you did, you had quite a lot of time here. Um, yeah. And then get slightly closer to the stage and then recover even like further into the middle yeah you know yeah yeah yeah. Uh, yeah so i guess with this it's like okay i can i can take a hit so i can make a risk exactly um and it's also so you can do that that's a that's a good game plan to go for um i also think uh like shield camping is pretty good so it might sound lame but uh shield camping uh, this percent is really good. He just can't get anything off of a grab. Um, what do I mean, shield camping? Yeah, what do you mean by that? So okay. just sort of overusing your shield. Okay. So yeah. he yeah, he wants Sorry. like go on, go on, go on. Whether you meant his shield or my shield? Sorry. No, your yeah, definitely your shield. Um, just shield camp him. Armada does it really well. So if you want to look at someone that does it really well, he's. I'm going to be referring to Armada a lot, but. He does yeah. shield camping so well. Um, he just holds shield and he moves with wave dashes out of it and uh, just knows um, when he can move from one position to another. But he cannot get anything off of a grab. He needs big hits to kill you. Um, mm -hmm. So shield camping is brilliant. It also works very well against Falco. Um, and that's yeah. kind of about... It really Sheik just destroys you destroys you when uh she grabs you. But yeah, against Marth, something to look at. I like this dash dance, you're making him swing a lot. Nice. That's not that's so good. You're just like, no, this is my space. Um that's a bad nair, leave me alone. I like that. So you just get caught by that down tilt. So you're still look, you're on 185, you're on so much percent. And there you go. Um, up air is really good. A tippered up air does kill you um, at that percent. It's quite annoying. Nice grab. Nice up smash. That's really good. You see, you like recognizing he loves a counter hit. So. This is almost like that uh, position in, at, at the start when I floated in with that back air when he was in the corner. Yeah. I guess like I, I I'm not waiting enough. So I love dash attack as much as the next person. <laughs> um, it's just like Marth just chews it up. Okay. Uh, but it's so I recommend going for going for dash attacks when Marth's like up in the air or approaching you. Um, yeah. when they're on the ground, they can just really out like even with dash dances, they can really outspace you. So. To hit a dash attack on a Marth on the ground, you've really got to be cognizant of their movement. So if they're so when they're dash dancing, you go and threaten some space and uh, you see if they're gonna how far away they dash back or if they jump, etc. Things like that. Um, so then you'll need to overshoot your dash attack or delay it so you get to like So you get to like uh, about So you get to like here and he's um he's gonna shield. So if you delay your dash attack, what happens? You overshoot. Exactly. So what happens is you so you go straight through him. So as you're going straight through him, you can be like, 
actually, I don't need to this, do this dash attack anymore. Like, he's already got his shield up. Um, and you've lost nothing for it. It is, obviously, this is a mix-up. He could just, like, fair you or something. But this is obviously a position where Marth wants to shield because you've just hit him twice and you're coming at him. Um, so you can just go through him and uh, now you've crossed him up. So you can either turn around, grab him. He's probably going to jump away or do something horrible at this point. Um, but at least you're not dash attacking his shield. You're like, you might be giving up a bit of stage position, but it's just better than dash attacking his shield. If you want to do that as a, um, as your move in neutral there. Nice patience, ah. nice roll in, love it. It still gets you because he's math and he's fast and he's got grab range. Um, so I recommend looking at some DI or mask grabs. There's lots of them. Um, uh, quite way too many to go into because um, there's lots of mix-ups with masks like tip like he can tipper you he can like do the pivot tippers all of that horrible stuff that we don't like to talk about um, but I recommend there's like some DIs where you can get to the ledge and where you can double jump out and also tech so and also wiggle out and just land um, off of like back throws and forward throws. So just look at your DI because it just seems like you're just doing similar DI every time. Uh, and then yeah. come back to me with any questions on uh, grab DI because there's something, it's, it's quite, there's quite a lot to go into there, um, which we could probably get into next time. Yeah, we probably need to get into that next time because I just DI, I try to DI full out or full in depending on which way they think, I think that they're going to throw me. Yeah, so there's some like little angles like upright and up down and stuff where you can just sort of like wiggle out. And so for instance, he like grabs you here and you can just wiggle out and air dodge to a platform. And right. Right. it's just a really nice mix up and it's just sort of like doesn't give Marth free follow ups basically. You wiggle out with the movement stick, right? Yeah, so it's uh, like left, right, left, right. And then this is up to your judgment as well. Uh, is you've got to judge when you're out of hits done and when you're going to be able to uh, uh, air dodge. That's a massive, massive, massive thing against Falcon uh, with the whole uh, down and away DI on a down throw and wiggling out before he's able to get the knee. Uh, but we'll go over that on Falcon 101 when we get to that. So this is a beautiful position. Um, he's just been hit. He's crouch cancelling the turnus, which is quite nice, which is something Marth's underutilized. But so I don't like the re grab there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me either. Obviously, you got hit. It's really easy to say don't re grab there. But as a rule of thumb, um, unless you're going for something really tricky, like a Z drop on their shield or something, um, yeah. which I don't really recommend. It just gets you up to it all the time. Uh, I could have just held stage here. So either held stage, but you've hit, you hit him with the turn here. Um. So instead of like, so you throw it. You should always already be dashing at him. So because you're forcing, so say you're already dashing at him. Ah, uh, he either has to get hit or he has to shield. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So the turn it's there. You're either got hit or you're shielding. Um, I can grab you, or yep. I can nair you if I'm really quick, um, and you've just got hit by the turnip. So, re and also turnips are um, a tool to give you stage positioning. They're also like a neutral tool to sort of open up math uh, in neutral, so you get a hit like 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 you have done before, and then follow up with an aerial. But this is, uh, you're just too far to the right. You're too, there's no stage position that this turnip's good. If you re-grab it, it's not really just doing a lot for you. You're not going to be able to throw it as far as you can. You're not going to, um, like, yeah, you know what I mean? You're not really throwing it anywhere. So it's just sort of like, once you're at this position, you don't really need a turnip. You're boxing him and you, you're in the shield mix up and there's just no need for a turnip. Uh, so just as a rule of thumb, you don't really need to re-grab it. Again, I'm guilty of doing this all the time. So that's why I know I get hit all the time from freaking grabbing a turnip at the edge like this. Trying to be cool. Yeah, just trying to be cool. And then I get ruined for it and I lose a set and I'm sad. So 
That was a bit weird, but we won neutral, so we're fine. Very annoying throwing a turn up on there. Oh, it annoys me so much. Why doesn't it just go through? So annoying. Mm -hmm. But that's the that's the game we play. Getting a bit choppy here. Yeah, I'm just pausing it just to just to look at the situations for you and see if there's like. So you can be reacting out of shield a bit quicker, but you'll get there when you've got your tech skill down, especially with your box. Coming out of shield is going to be super straightforward. Yeah, I'm still... I can do it when I don't get hit, but as soon as I get hit on shield, the shield stun fucks me up so much. Yeah, so no. that's a that's an Uncle Punch or a 20XX thing. Um, yeah. Or And so I say that um, because I think that's the easiest and fastest way to learn these concepts. Um, but the way I learned was just playing a lot. I just played so much and getting myself in similar situations, playing the same people and adapting together and advancing together. That's really the key way of learning. But I also think Uncle Punch and 20XX are really broken tools into improvement in this game. So the down air again, Marth just eats you alive for them. Especially if you're floating, if you're not dropping with it, it looks like it's just getting up in. Yeah, exactly. He's spacing anyway, that's what he's trying to do all the time, right? I love that, that's really good. That was good. I'm surprised. That's really good. That's like freaking Triff levels. Are you sure? Now this, <laughs> this isn't Triff levels. <laughs> we go from the lofty heights of this really clean wave dash out of shield, like power shield, but then you still hold your shield, wave dash out. That's so clean. I'm re that's really nice, man. Honestly. Oh, thank you. Um, but then this is just the other end of the spectrum. <laughs> 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 We're just not hitting anyone with that, and we've no. really ruined our advantage there. That's so, yeah. so instead of doing that, I I do I love a big jump out, but when Martha's got. When Martha's got a jump as well, it's so hard to snipe anything. And especially when... So the only reason this didn't work is because you were so eager for it. You've committed super early to this space. And you're going, hey, Marth, I'm here. I want to hit you. And Marth's right. like, nah, I'm going to just go around you because I've got a double jump. Yeah, I could have waited on the edge and then dropped or like threatened this and then jumped straight back to the edge and grabbed the edge. And then he would have been like, oh, he's coming for me. And then... Exactly. Yeah, yeah. The mix-ups. Um... I like pulling a turnip, um, but you can do those things as well. Um, we'll go over the, all the turnip edge guards we can uh, next time. Up directly down, not so good. I feel like turnip directly up. down. Yeah, I feel like I've, I've tried to like throw a turnip down at, at Marth as he's up being, and it, he just goes straight through it sometimes. Yeah, so you need to be hitting like him on the back edge. I've got. I'll have to, I've got, I, I, I will have to compile, compile all my math edge guarding information, but I've got a lot of clips that show you where to throw the turnip down because he's going to be hugging this ledge all the time, pretty much anyway. And so if you throw it away here, he's going yeah. to, um, he's always going to get hit and he'll usually get hit in stage. If he doesn't tech, he dies. If he techs, this is getting a bit complicated now, so you will have to come back to it. If he techs, you can just re-grab the turnip on your way back down. So say you jump out, throw the turnip. Yeah. He up bees. He techs it, but the turnip's coming back up to you and you're floating down. So as you're coming down, just press Z and then you've got a turnip with you again. Um, forward. Yep, yeah, so it's... it's, it's um, from there, it's either you grab the turnip on your way down and you throw it left and you re-grab the stage to force him ah, yep. off the stage, or you oh. just re-grab it, jump, throw it down again. Okay. That's all very quick information. Go back and look at it and sort of break it down a bit slower. Um, but I just, I realized we're a bit pressured for time and I want to get you as much stuff as I can over the month so you can go and practice on your box and go and look at these concepts and become a better people player basically so yeah i like a turnip i would like a turnip and a throw up there um and then maybe even another turnip uh instead of a just the hail mary i love the hail mary just committed to it a bit too quickly yeah, i just threw so hard <laughs> i threw this game so hard oh it hurts these are the ones you gotta watch back 
these are the ones you really got to watch back. I love watching myself win, but... Oh, I dash dancing again. This is nice, this is nice. Hmm, yeah, so... So I know, I know we've just gone over this, but yeah. it's. I think it's just important to remember your okay. stock is really valuable at this percent. Yes, for neutral interactions or whatever you do. Yeah, exactly. Just think in your head, like I can lose, I can lose neutral a few times and still live. While yeah. if he loses neutral like two or three times, he's dead. He should be dead. Um, uh -huh. So this is this is important. I feel and throwing your not throwing it away, but. Kind of throwing it away over here. And I know you're frustrated. And I, sorry, go on. Let's call it spade a spade. Yeah, 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 exactly. I, I, I don't want to like be around the bush, but that is just what's going on. <laughs> it is. Are you an Aussie then? Yeah. I... Okay, I can talk to you pretty plainly then. The, all the Aussies I've met are very straightforward. I love it. Because then look what happens here. He just dies immediately. So imagine you have that stock. Imagine you have that stock. So he's come back on stage here, but imagine you're on stage. Yeah. And so forget about this bit, forget about this bit. You've got a stock and you've got the, it's the same position. And you win neutral and kill him, but you should have had that stock. For like 80% or even win the next stock if I'm cool enough. Exactly, exactly. So you've just got to put... Like, especially when you're on two stocks, if you lose one, that's like half your health gone and it's, and they're on two stocks and it's just, it's, you're just giving yourself a big uphill mountain to climb other than downhill mountains, I suppose, whatever, whatever's going on there. <laughs> um, so this is, again, we, you did this earlier, really nice patience at the, at the side here. You're like, I'm going to do this comeback. I'm here. I'm peach. I've got combos. So this is good. You're pushing him away. Another option here. Um, and again, this is all about, this is about combo game. And there's a huge amount about um, math combo game. As an aside, I'd recommend you going and watching the math peach games that PPMD and Armada played at Apex 2015. My favorite competition of all time. Yeah. Very, yeah. Oh my God, I love it. And... Uh, so forget the Falco games, watch the Marth games against PPMD. Uh, Armada is playing a really ridiculously tight peach. Um, so if you go and watch that, see where he's positioning cells, where he's pulling the turnips. A big thing is pulling a turnip on a platform uh, as it unlocks. So it's hard for Marth to punish for a start, um, but it also unlocks so shield drop turnip throws, which are really good. Um, so yeah, I I look I recommend you look into that set and just really sort of get the broad concepts. Another bit of um, uh, research you can do is uh, the big man Triff has done like his he's got like an hour and a half analysis of him versus uh, Muta King when he beat Muta King. Right. Some really great stuff in there. That some of it is quite advanced and uh, it's only going to affect you later when there's like quite a lot of neutral game interactions but if you look at it listen to what he's saying about the matchup about the combos things like that that's an that's amazing it is an hour and a half and there's a lot of fluff but triff is a big man so he deserves it uh he beat muta king so he can do whatever he likes <laughs> um maybe watch it two times speed or something because it is long yeah 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 so we like the dash dance so remember Dash, like dash attacking them while they're in the air. That's exactly what you did. So you're already halfway there, if, even if you don't recognize it. But here, I... oh, go on. No, 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 I, please continue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> An up air is really nice here. I knew you were going to say up air. I, 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 up air is missing from my combo game unless it's against facing sometimes. Yeah. And then when I do it, I'm like, oh, this leads to other things. Wow. Yeah. Think about this more often. So yeah. up air is super duper nice. Um, uh, and I like the way you've already recognized it. Um, I'm just going to go over a, a few things why it's nice. So obviously the Nair is nice because it pushes him to the side. And as we've gone over, Marth sucks at coming back here. But with this kind of percent, you're looking at a juicy punish here, especially when he's kind of missed the DI on it. So you can get a nice big juicy up air here. So you jump in, get a nice juicy up air. 
and then you've got some options um so you can either come to this ledge here to um then snipe another up air here or you can come up to this ledge with a double jump as well um yes. and do the same thing yeah. uh i it's all about his di so you're looking at where the master's diing if he's gonna if you up air him and he di's in he's not really gonna go too far to the left just because of the positioning of where peach is and where he is um but he will go to the left so you could jump on this platform with a double jump and a wave land or whatever um and then up air him again and then get to this platform and then hit a nair so you've hit three you've hit him three times instead of just the just the once and you probably would have hit him over this way so he's probably off stage um so yeah up air have a look at that that extends your combo game massively yeah if i have somebody up for a dash attack or the next week of friendlies i'll, I'll just be trying to hit up airs yes up yes like so that's exactly what i did when i learned a concept um when i was like oh up air is really good all i did i went and practiced it and i was like okay sick i can do an up air at every float height and then I went and played some friendlies and I said to myself, I am only using up air and I am seeing where it's good, where it's bad, where it's kind of okay. Um, so you just spam it basically. You just spam it hard and you find out all the information you can about it and then move on to another move. Okay, yeah. Um, and then finally, huge, and I said it before, but I will repeat it. D-I, 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 D-I. Down and away, or just away, and that doesn't do anything to you. So you just need to work on when you're recognized. So you just need to be like, okay, I think I'm coming in here. And you're coming in a bit hot for a start. So you're already holding in. Um, but you know the math can fret in that space. So what is a nice option select? And also like, what you should uh, what you can do anyway um don't come too hard in here you like you want to just hold away so you just do a little aerial dash dance and if he hits you you're already holding away um yeah. and the combo is not going to happen and you're not going to lose at 52 percent to this horrible horrible character <laughs> and a stop yeah and that's yeah that's the end of the and and dreamland um dreamland is your playground um like yeah and it's your it's your counter pick it's game free you should you you win this game and you're like you're sitting pretty yeah ugh. so ugh. i lost this thing it's all good <laughs> it's all good we we only lose so that we can then go and win this stage is so hard for math to cover um I actually you like Dreamland? I don't. I don't like Dreamland either. Um, my, I don't like FD either. I think Yoshi's is one of Peach's best stages. Um, I just think the meta is just a bit slow to catching up to my thoughts. <laughs> but Peach gets camped so hard on this stage, it's not yes. even funny. Oh, yes. It, yes, she does. And she, she takes a year to run from one side of the stage to yeah. the other. Yeah. Ox. Yeah, everyone camps her. So this is really like your big neutral stage, um, like yeah. your new, uh, playing neutral stage. Um, but these platforms are just so far away for Marth with his sword. And they're really big as well, so he can't cover them all with his sword. So Marth is struggling as well, trust me. And you're also yeah. living to like a million percent. So um, And Marth can't really camp you, so it's okay. Yeah, exactly. Marth can camp you. I've played a lot of campy Marths. <laughs> Do not worry. You will reach the campy Marth stage. Oh, <laughs> okay so um i'm gonna end it there because i'm gonna go get yeah, some food yeah, anyway yeah, we got a bit over time thanks for that no worries um just some just to recap so i'm gonna send you that melee on me and uh i'll send you the lesson as well so you can go over the other lesson because we we went over some math stuff as well it's different stuff to what we did here so you'll probably get some good stuff there um right do your 20xx do your uncle punch just get right. tight when your box comes of course because that's going to be oh. huge that's Tomorrow. very exciting that is very exciting let me know how it goes as well let me know how it feels i'm very excited to see i already used a uh, tea bag uh, from the boss uh, yeah. crew. I've used his box and it already felt like 
pretty fucking cool. Yeah, I used um, AC's, uh, the London Maths. I used his. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty damn cool. Um, so yeah, and your space is chain grab. Um, and you said you had trouble with the double jump cancels. Um, I recommend just that movement drill I showed you. The double jump land on a platform, shield drop either aerial or just wave land onto the bomb yeah uh, I, I, I gotta um i uh, still haven't implemented shield drops into my game i can kind of do them but uh i don't know how to use them yet yeah so um i just recommend camping on platform letting someone hit you and then shield dropping afterwards and just seeing the timing obviously you can set that up better in 20xx or um uncle uh, punch or uncle punch yeah, yeah. Um, but if you have a friend that's willing to just hit you on a, on a platform when you're holding a shield, and just to practice your aerials out of shield um, after a shield drop is really important. Um, yeah. Very quick, because oh, there's just so much, but this is the final bit with the shield drops, is you can, there's so much you can do with the shield drop with the double jump. You can like cancel into like a nair or a bear, and you can cover a lot more space than, you, than almost any other character, because you're not restricted by just falling through. You can use the double jump momentum to change your momentum and go like lots of different places. So Why? you can. Um, That's hectic. Yeah, I think I'll just quickly show you. Um, I love, like, as, as you saw when I was trying to open up on Marth uh, with that back air when he was in the corner, like, I love changing my direction because people, lots of people get caught out by it. So if you look, you like. You like go backwards, um, yeah. and you can just cover space, like um, just horizontal space, basically. And that's what you want to be able to do when you're out on a platform drop. and out of a shield yeah. drop. But you yeah. can also uh, drop, in. drop in and just come back, so you can pretend to have done it. That's so hectic, and something that I'll have to work on. Yeah, actually. so you can. <laughs> Um, it might look super hard. Honestly, you will you will get it on the box as well. Um, I think it's just practice, 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 practice. Ev like just doing it a little bit every day really improves your muscle memory and your execution by like a million percent. Right. Um. But yeah, go for that. I'm excited to see your progress on the box, especially because you're my only box student. So that's pretty cool. Um, and we'll go over Sheik next time. I'll, uh, hopefully I'll you'll be a Mars Slayer. Go on. I'll try to send you some games. Brog's actually listening to this, this very lesson, so he's stealing all my secrets. <laughs> good, good. Good to know. <laughs> We're going to fuck you up, Brog. I hope you know that, man. <laughs> You're going to lose to this peach so hard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll definitely go over that sort of stuff next time because Sheik is a really tough matchup. Sheik has a really easy time. Basically, if you're losing this Sheik, I don't know I don't know what you're doing. Uh Sheik's super easy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gl I'm glad he's listening in. <laughs> good. Right. I'm 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 pumped. Yeah. Well, anyway, if that's if that's everything um... That is everything. That's yeah, that's really good. If you've got any other questions, obviously send me a message and I'll be happy to answer some stuff. Fantastic. I caught you on stream the other day actually. I I, I followed you come in oh did you come on into the stream man ask me questions whatever like i'm i'm probably going to be streaming later as well to be honest i said i was uh, i said i was going to be doing comms on poland on oh poland. yeah with um the scots or something wasn't it yeah with the uh, well scott friend uh, that's brogue and then um the with most of the irish crew as well oh that's brilliant oh yeah that's you okay right i get it now yeah keep spot <laughs> nice nice all right bro well yeah. thanks again for all the uh all the tips and i suppose i'll catch you next week yeah dude you're super welcome um yeah i look forward to the next one and uh yeah yeah, yeah. happy down smashing i guess <laughs> brother all right i'll catch you in a bit thank you very much Better alligator.